Okay, I wanted for everyone to agree with me in prayer. If you guys, <clears throat> if anybody out there is willing to agree with me about Israel and all the uh, the issues with being the church and Israel <clears throat> existing having ever existed and the Jews of modern day and, and what they're doing in Israel today <clears throat> all the people who are Israeli descendants scattered about all those who converted and all those who haven't converted and just asking for you to agree with me in prayer and really hope this video helps us and um, as a church and helps those who are Israel in the name of the Holy Son Yeshua in the name of the Lord we pray God hear our prayer God, we ask about Israel. And we pray right now. We don't there's so many scriptures, Father, in the Bible and prophecies about Israel and mysteries that Christ had fulfilled prophecies. And even us as the church or fulfillment of prophecies of the Israel prophets. We know there's a mystery to the new covenant, and that many of the remnants of Israel are all scattered abroad, and that Israel has become a country again. And the embassy of the U.S. is there in Jerusalem. And there's a lot happening. Father, as a church, we've established laws, your statutes, <clears throat> and we've converted, we've became your people. We know only whatever we know. There's so many heretic and so many people who claim to have great wisdom about your prophecies and claim to know about the meaning and, and how Israel is, who Israel is and everything. But there's just a lot of people who are Israeli descendants. I'm supposedly one. According, well, my name is in the Jewish genealogy books. We don't know what your divine will exactly is other than they still believe that the Messiah hasn't come. And as a church father, we need to be at peace. However, they fight against whatever they believe about law and goyim, they call us. But, Father, we know that you convert society to Christ. And many who are Jew don't believe in it. We pray, God, that you will help us to keep our mind off the world's leadership to be watchful and not to be like the Germans did or Martin Luther or anybody who tries to be that way towards Israel when they are the people you, their ancestors were given promises that way that Christ fulfilled help us God that many of them will convert in the name of your Holy Son and believe in Christ and for us to not be heretic or to believe in their heresies. God, whatever your divine will is about the church in Israel as a people on earth and our covenant with you, that we will not give them honor 
they're undeserving of. Unless they are your pe people because of Christ, too. We know, God, that there is no way they have any better covenant with you. And unless they have more faith than us, there's no there's no greater work they can do for you. And to you, as we know, you are Israeli. By your blood. Help us all to be as you will to learn the mysteries of God without being enemies because we're a different race we're a different people than each other God help us as Israelis believe their fight is something that has nothing to do with Christ and help us not to be confused and misled by those who are out to kill them because they are Israeli, who want leadership as clergies. God, we know that it's your fight, not theirs. It's not about them, it's about you, it's about your laws, your peace, your righteousness your divine will. We pray that for the peace of Israel and the peace of your church and we will stand as a church united and that we will not let Jews become our leaders. without real conversion to Christ. That we will not have to serve their estates, the Rothschild families and all those people who were up high as Jews. We don't, we don't want to owe God, or be slaves and servants to because of what they believe or because of what position they have as bankers, we don't know your will. There's all kinds of scriptures about his Israel will return and your treasuries will be full and people have to go up to Israel and worship you and whatever your people Israel are. We are as a church, God, worship you wherever we are. And all the mysteries and interpretations when Christ was the temple and rose again, the Jews don't believe that he was fulfilling those scriptures and that it wasn't the way they believe it. Help us, God, that to not trust in world order about Jews or to be against you, to lay aside our differences and our arguments with them, and to strive for peace, and to welcome them only to become Christians, not to welcome them to whatever Give them places higher they're undeserving of because they're from Isra they're Israeli. Or give them any lower place because they're not the same kind as us when you are Israeli, Christ. Knowing that it's you, only you who we serve. We pray God for your people Israel 
and your people the church to be uplifted amongst these people who aren't either the church or Israel to give us give us a way that we all give up the Gentile lives kingdoms to be like you and to be the church to be vessels of Christ to be vessels of God to glorify God that the image of God will conform to Christ not these these kingdoms their their legal arguments for us to live their way and that our fight will be the service to God against the evil principalities of this world including those in Tel Aviv and around the world pray for all the Jewish people God that you will convert them that there's many that are just really dark really dark lost whether they're rabbi or not rabbi may we not give them authority in our, or, or we believe they are teaching the teachings of Christ that we need to know or how to to know God really to live as a church God we just pray right now for Israel and for all of what you your prophecies and all your will regarding the laws of you regarding those people you gave promises to and the church that you promised eternal life to and then none of us will fight from for jealousy or rivals positioning and we will serve the one true God together without being adulterous or breaking your commandments in the name of Jesus we pray we will keep them together and fight these goy together the world's Gentiles as as God's people not for self-righteous reasons we be warriors of peace and be only the same fight that David fought and the apostles and the prophets in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.